Hello everyone, how are you YouTubers? I uh, hope you're all keeping very well and welcome back to another week and another tutorial. This is competition week and in this tutorial I'm going to paint a beautiful... Now I did say in my last video that I would paint you a lovely kind of a nighttime scene with a church with some reflections, that type, that type, type of a scene but because Christmas is so close I want to do the competition now and um, get it posted because postal services will stop in a couple of days for the Christmas so I want to get it shipped and off to whoever wins it and uh, we'll do the nice nighttime scene with the church then maybe next week okay I hope you don't mind so this week a nice little um, it's a kind of a nighttime snow scene with um, a lodge and kind of very lit up windows very bright kind of a yellow I suppose a yellow glow inside the windows, that type of a thing. So I'm going to do that this week and I'm going to pick out a name at the end of the video. I've, I've all the names in a hat um, and there's a lot there, Jeez, there's, I don't know, a hundred perhaps. Um, and I will pick out a name, alright, and I will send it off to you and I hope you I hope you like the painting. So let's take a look around here now and I'll show you. I have a picture on my phone here, which I'm going to uh, just take the impression of that. So let me show you what it is. And there we go. Um, now this is my canvas, 16 by 12. Um, stretched canvas. Okay, lovely stretched canvas. I've no colours yet. This is what I'm thinking about painting. Now it's bright on the camera there, but it's actually a nice kind of a dark, um, I, I wouldn't call it a night scene, it's more of a dusk, I suppose. Uh, sun going down, some nice real rich blues there, and some lovely oranges with some lovely reflections. So I'm going to paint that. I might, I might sprinkle a little bit of snow into it at the end. We'll see, we'll see how we go. And that big mountain in the background, I might make that slightly smaller uh, because I want to show some sky. You know, then again we could just leave it as it is we'll, we'll see we'll we'll sketch it out and we'll see what it looks like so that's it lovely little lodge out in the forest so that's the video for this week i hope you like it and let me know what you think i'll set up the camera and we get cracking all right let's go competition time i'm looking forward to this now i really am so go and get your paints and brushes ready get a cup of coffee and don't go anywhere Okay, here we go. Um, I'll tell you my colours. I have a lot of colours here now, but it's just so I can create some nice variety. That's all. I have titanium white. I have phthalo blue, dark blue. Uh, some black. Some cadmium yellow. Uh, is that pale or is it just normal hue? I'll tell you now. Cadmium yellow, pale hue. Okay. I have nafal crimson. Regular crimson will do fine. I have some burnt umber, I have a little burnt sienna, just a little, some cadmium red, and some magenta, just for a nice cool colour. So we have a nice variety now of colours here. I do have some Naples yellow, which I didn't put out yet, I'm not sure if I need it. So yes, there's the picture, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that just beautiful? Now I get a pencil and do a small sketch, just a very, very rough outline. As I said, we can put in some suggestion of some hills in the background. Um, perhaps just a few kind of coming down here and there like so and let's let's just get a line of this water now here okay so I'm gonna make it slightly higher because the reflections are really lovely I like the reflections so I want to put plenty of reflections in and let's get the lodge so I'll start now this is the most difficult part kind of positioning everything so I'm looking at the center I put the center around here. Okay, and we have a peak. Comes up like that. So I'm making this bigger because I want to really show it off on the picture. And we go here, like so. Now that's okay. We can fix that. Don't worry. Not to worry. We'll, we'll fix all these things now as we're going along. Not not to worry. And a couple of uprights there. Um, comes along like this and it's really full of snow isn't it I'm just going to make the roofs all nice and straight just for now 
and then we have a piece here I think these are called uh, man mansard roofs I've bought a couple of these in the past yeah mansard mansard roof and let's get that point over here and then it comes down like so and it's really a beautiful kind of a lodge isn't it wouldn't they love to live out here wouldn't it be absolutely gorgeous and it kind of comes across I'm just kind of making it very very loose now okay again very loose and we can bring this one down here and we bring these down like so lots of trees we put a couple of trees up as well so we'll have one one two trees kind of three or four trees dotted around here and there uh, we've a nice row of trees off in the background here i put those in and again suggest very loosely some maybe some hill or something there so this is the focal point of the painting now really and I might even make it a bit bigger. I'll see how I go. Because I really want to show this off. I mean, have a lovely reflection of that then coming down onto the water. Very dark, nighttime kind of a scene. Good? Yes. Here we go. I'm going to take a big brush. Um, do, you know what I will, do you know what I use? I use my large stubby. Okay? This is a fairly new one. It's still quite soft now. It's not kind of bulked up or thickened up enough yet. Um, I've done one or two paintings with this but it's just getting there now it's perfect for trees now as it is like this so let's get a nice dark colour on here tail of blue and white I'm thinking so I'm dampening my brush look I'm dampening my brush in the turpentine I'm just giving it a quick dab on my tissue just to soak up the excess one or, just once or twice and let's take some white and it's a snow scene but it's a dark snow scene so there's going to be lots of dark blues and stuff in this a little tail of blue, just a little and I'll take a touch of crimson Nathal crimson and let me just have a look at this here now and see can we get a nice it's a kind of a dark blue but it's warm at the same time, understand? so the red will just warm it up very very slightly I think now I'll try this okay I lighten it just slightly a little white just a little dab of white and it's getting a bit thick so I just dab tiny the corner of my brush with some turpentine just a tiny bit look just to help it flow around a little bit more now let's try this okay let's put this right in here now all the way up in this corner like so and there's actually not much difference between the sky and the mountains in this it almost looks like it blends into one doesn't it but I want to accentuate the mountains a little bit more uh, so what I might do is just put a nice dark background on here first so let's dampen the brush again just a little damper and more phthalo blue and this time I'll take some black and I'm going to take uh, hmm, let me see now I'll try a touch of magenta this time a little hint of magenta just to kind of really warm up that black okay so I want a very very dark it's kind of an undercoat now for the mountain if you if you will so yeah so you can see what I mean a really dark rich color and I'm gonna just put that in very loosely just imagine how there's some hills and stuff way off there in the distance and I'm gonna even soften some of this into the sky okay so look it almost disappears as a kind of a mist the way off in the distance isn't that lovely? So let's pull this now right across and I want to dampen my brush well for this. By the way, I primed my canvas with two coats of primer, my normal primer. Uh, it's just like a gesso, really. I like to prime them when I buy them because that's really lovely and smooth now. You can hardly even feel the grain on this. And it was a very rough grain when I got it first, it was like sandpaper. So for instance, I'll show you. So this is a canvas board, now it's the very same type of canvas and this is not primed and feel that, you hear that? and that's lovely and smooth, see? it's like sandpaper, so I sand this with sandpaper and give it a quick coat of primer 
and then give it another fine rub of sandpaper and it's lovely and smooth then. and that's why the brush then moves lovely across the canvas see I hope that makes sense now to you viewers watching uh, let's go with this now let's get plenty more of that color I'm going with lovely rich colors now for this painting it's Christmas and I want to get nice and colorful lots of rich colors so whoever wins this I hope you're going to like it I hope you're happy with it I hope you stick it on a wall or do something with it just promise me you won't throw it in the corner of a room and just forget about it you know so um, I hope I hope it turns out well now I've added a bit more black into that and a bit more magenta I kind of I want to stay away from pure black I think the magenta just kind of warms it up that little bit nicer and soften that back up into that blue there now and my reason for doing this is because we have some trees back here with snow and I want to really show them off against the dark background and also the, the snow on the roof I want to show that off as well so it's light against dark you see so the majority of paintings if you look at a painting it's basically lights against darks and darks against lights and that's what makes up the painting okay there's lots of composition and tone different tones to work with and all that kind of stuff but I think in general a painting is just made up of lights and darks isn't it and it's how you use those lights and darks that helps it work now I'm not an expert on all of this but that's just the view that I have and it seems to work for me okay so we have a lovely background in there now now that's darker than it is you can see on can on the camera uh, only because the lighting is kind of reflect, reflecting on, reflecting on it here but it's, it's really dark and rich and what I'm going to actually what I'll do look is I'll darken it a bit more down the bottom here I'll take some black I'll take a touch of crimson this time and look I'll darken that even a little bit more down at the bottom here so we'll have lovely crisp snowy trees in front of that then now that's okay that's fine as it is let's well it's not fine but you know you know what I mean we don't have to go working on this anymore let's create some little texture of snow now on that will we and we could try a palette knife so I have various knives at my disposal I have that kind of a knife and I have that kind of a knife and I have a little plastic one you could use that as well so I'm thinking now you could use a brush as well for this you could use a little flat brush if you want um, should we try a brush first and see, and see how that goes yes let's try a brush a dry brush now because I want it nice and thick and let's take some white and let's take a touch of phthalo blue because I don't want the crisp white I want it it's a, it's a nighttime scene so it's going to be a dull kind of a colour and let's take a touch of magenta again I love magenta it's a lovely colour so we have a nice rich colour there now it's a kind of a a light blue but it's a very kind of a rich luminous type of a blue and that's what the tail of blue does and let's put in a suggestion of some snow on the hills and all I'm doing is wiggling my brush look wiggling my brush side to side like so in the direction of the mountain so it's coming down at this this angle so I'm just going to wiggle it across here and there at that kind of an angle okay okay you see And we'll do some knife, knife work then on top of this as well. You can already start to see you now some of the shapes of the hills kind of popping through, can't you? And let's get some more of that colour, a little bit darker even. Flat brush is fantastic for this because you get some nice little pointy edges, you see? Nice little chiseled edges. So you can do it with the brush as well, just like this. Absolutely fine. 
And again, we're only suggesting this, okay? It's way off in the distance. You don't have to go crazy with details. But we can use our knife also. And I'll get my knife now in a second just to show you what I mean. So let me just kind of bring a, coup a couple of those off into the distance here. Just, to f just one or two. See? Just like that. Um, okay, knife. Let's try the knife and see how we get on. Before I do that now I'm just going to soften with my blender brush. Lovely soft brush. I'm just going to pull some of those down very very gently. Just to soften one or two of them. And even across by the sky. Okay. And then we get our knife. Now you can use whatever knife you like. Um, I'm just going to try this one. Let's just try it and see how we get on. Some white and a little tail of blue. And let's just try that, okay? I have a little, little roll of paint on the edge of my knife. And let's just pull some of that down. Here and there. So you can see, gives it a lovely, lovely texture, doesn't it? That's nice and, nice and fun, isn't it? And let's drag it a little bit across the distance. And I'm just letting the paint come off with the canvas. The canvas is doing all the work. Now I'm just going to soften that gently a little bit. Just at the bottom here. Just a little bit here and there. All I want to do is create some texture in the, in the hill, that's all. I don't want to go crazy. Now, that'll do fine. Now what I'm going to do is just actually make a nice and soft on at the bottom here. We are going to have a little bit of mist in this painting. Now it's not on the photograph, but I might put a little bit of mist just along the bottom. So I'll take another very rough old brush, look, okay, and I'll give it a slight dampened mist of turpentine and dry it well. Just make sure it's nice and clean. And let me take some of that Taylor blue with the white. And I'm going to come down here and create a lovely little mist. And I'm just going up and down and around in circles. See? Just very, very kind of loose. Very, very loose, very free, having a bit of fun. So there's a little bit of mist kind of gathering at the bottom of the hill. Let's imagine. And we'll do the same over here. By the way, there'll be lots of trees now as well coming up here, so don't be too fussy with this. You can leave it without the mist if you like. And then I'll just soften that gently with my brush. There we go. Now, I'm just getting rid of some brush strokes I have, some here, there, that's it. Okay, that's fine. We have a couple of trees off in the distance now, they're very, very dark, admittedly, but I'm going to just kind of bring them up a little bit more. A little bit stronger, okay? A little bit brighter, rather. So I'm going to start now first by putting them in with this thick brush, this stubby brush. I do have another one here, actually, we could probably use that. It's quite worn, so I'll use that. And I'm going to make a nice rich dark colour again. So some black, some phthalo blue, and I might try a touch of burnt umber as well this time. And with that colour, I'm just going to put in, I suggest, some trees like this. Look, again, up and down, up and down. They're way, way off in the distance. And just bring that colour right all the way across. 
Okay. How was that? See how easy that was? Just for the kind of a point, you see the chisel on my brush? That's because it's so worn. So it has a lovely kind of a chiseled profile. And that's perfect for this kind of stuff. It's really brilliant. Now I'll give this a quick rub on my can on my on my tissue and then just get most of that dark colour off. I'm gonna go back into some nice light colour. So again phthalo blue, I take a touch of magenta in that, just a touch, and a little white. So I have that nice warm kind of a bluey colour again. And let's uh the same brush now, let's try let's try this and see how we get on. Suggest so some snow on those trees off in the distance. They're so far away, all you can really see is the shape or the outline of them. You're not going to see individual leaves and branches and all that kind of thing. There. How's that? Isn't that lovely? Nice and simple, but it works. And that's what I, that's what I love doing. So we have a couple of bigger ones now, and I'm going to use a bigger brush for that. Um, I'll put this one down, and what I will do is I'll take a, a little flat brush. Now I would normally use perhaps a fan brush or something, but I think I'll try it with a flat brush because it's more, it, it gives more movement. So I'm just going to clean my little flat brush now. If you have a small stubby brush, actually, you could use that. Let me see if I have one here. Uh, I should have one. Aha! Here we go. Small stubby brush. Perfect. I'm going to mix now that dark colour again. So let's... I'll dampen it slightly. Take some phthalo blue, some white, touch of black, and some magenta. Okay. And I want this nice and dark now, nice and rich and dark. In fact, I'll take a touch of burnt umber as well. Make it really dark, yes? Nice thick pasty colour. And this is pretty much just paint on its own. So here we go. We have a little tree along here, don't we? So let's just put a rough indication of that tree in. And we have another one or two here, don't we? What I'll do then, is I'll just start flicking. Flicking down and out, see? Just like that. I'll do the same at this side. So it's obviously wider, wider at the bottom of the tree than it is on top. So make sure you make it wider at the bottom. And then thin on top. Okay? We have a suggestion now of a tree there. And I'm going to go darker with this. More blue and more black. Let's get more blue, more black. Okay, there we go. We do the same with the others here. Now this one goes right out of the photograph, but I'm not going to do that. I'd like to keep it inside the top of the canvas. So let's just fill this in now and have a bit of fun while we're doing it. This is great fun. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, thank you for all your comments. It really is fantastic and I suppose I'll have one more tutorial left, left next week, that nighttime tutorial and um, it'll be Christmas time then so you won't see me for another week after Christmas. Uh, who knows, I might post away, I might take a break, I don't know, I'll wait and see. I just love, I love posting and I'll also have another one next week as well on my Patreon channel for all my patrons for your thanks thank you so much 
and I'm not sure what I'm going to do for that but um, I have some ideas focusing on some nice easy landscape techniques okay there we go so we have these two trees in and we do have one here but I'm going to leave that out I put one big one in here now I think and I'm going to use my big stubby brush for that so I'm getting my big stubby brush now to make it more, to, make, to help you follow me better I'm going to use this one okay because you probably have one like this so I'm just going to dampen that just very very slightly take some phthalo blue and some black and let's take some crimson and with that nice tin colour now I'm just going to go here and just dab 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 like this let's go right up to the corner of the painting okay and let's fill this in I'm holding it at a side angle you see and I'm kind of coming down and back up again and that's kind of basically how I paint my trees and it's an easy technique but it seems to work it seems to work fine you don't have to get very complicated there isn't that lovely I might put a bit more darker colour in just here I want this really dark, this corner so there could be a different type of a tree and I'm going to next take a small brush okay, a small pointy brush whatever you have I'm just going to take some black with a little touch of magenta And I'm going to darken one side of these just for some little flicks of magenta. Now, do you want me to zoom in slightly on this so you can see better? Let me zoom in here, look. Okay. There. That's easier now, isn't it? You see, if I move this canvas forward, the shine goes off of it, you see, from the lighting. And you can see the colours better. So there's a tiny bit of a glare from the lights on this. It's just probably the angle of the canvas or something. So I just want to put some dark right in here now with some black. Because I want to, I want to imagine this, the, the light is coming from, perhaps there's a moon in the sky, it's coming from the left hand side. So I want to emphasize that. Plenty of shadow, I think, really helps. All right, there we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm thinking with, hmm, I get a slightly larger brush. Okay. It's only very slightly larger. And with this dry brush, I'm going to take some white. And I'm going to take some thaler blue. Well, that's a bit much now, isn't it? It's a cleaner brush. I've got a nice bright colour for this and I'll take some magenta so there's a bit more pink now on this but I want it nice and, nice and warm and with that nice thick colour I'm going to start putting on some snow on these branches here ok look and again I'm just flicking it like I did with the dark that's all I'm doing for the back side I use more blue because it's in shade so I use a little more blue on this side isn't that lovely? ok and let's do the same on these a little bit of bluey colour coming through and I'm being very loose now I'm just kind of flicking it around just a little I'm not trying to paint individual branches and leaves and all that kind of thing just nice and loose and free there's no rules in painting you can do whatever you like so I guess some of the lighter colour Again, some magenta, some white, touch blue for the light side. Mm. 
A bit, bit more pink in this now. Get this nice and warm. Now, how's that looking? That's pretty okay, isn't it? And I could even put some of that colour on some of these distant ones over here. Just to suggest a little bit. And particularly on the tops because the moonlight would maybe catch the tops of them. Now I'll zoom back again and I'll just put a bit of snow on this big, this big tree. So we just get that okay there now again, make sure I'm all nice and lined, lined up with the canvas. Okay. A little bit of snow on this. And I'll use this little chiseled edge one, okay? The really worn one, or if you have a, a kind of a flashish kind of a brush, that would do fine as well. And let me take some of that nice colour there, look. Some Taylor blue, with some of that white, and some magenta. The magenta gives it a lovely warm feeling, doesn't it? And I'll put a hint of that, at the corner of my brush, on this tree. And then some rich blue down in the shadows of here. Okay, there we are. Look at that. Now I want to add some nice highlights to this. Some nice, rich, bright, warm highlights. So I'm taking some magenta, and I might take. Um, so what I will do? I'll take a touch of Naples yellow. I was going to say cadmium yellow, but that will only make it a kind of a greeny colour with the magenta, because I have a lot of blue on my brush. So, touch of Naples and some white. And this will give us a nice, a nice highlight. Kind of, look at that, see? A nice kind of a light. The light is bouncing off the snow, perhaps. Just a little here and there. And perhaps even add a touch of that colour. Two, one or two of these, just with the edge of the brush, look. Just like so. Isn't that nice? And it's simple, I know, okay, we could spend a lot more time now doing lots of work on these, but it's just nice and simple, and that's the way I want to keep it. Um, okay, next. Next, next, next. Let's paint this little cabin. Yes? What do we think? Let's let's get it started and see and see how we go. So I'm gonna use a flat brush for this. Again I'll use my little small stubby brush. I'm giving it a really good clean on my tissue here. Give it nice nice clean. And I want to put a nice bright colour on the roof. So I'll take some titanium white um, I'll take a hint of blue, just a hint that tail of blue is so strong, I, I can tell you. really is very strong. Touch of magenta, touch of blue and plenty of white. Let me just have a look at this now. Okay, we need a bit more blue, I think. Because I want this lovely kind of dusk effect. There we go. That's a bit better, I would think. Yes. Let's paint this in. Paint in this roof with this lovely colour. And we could even go darker in some parts. So let's go a bit higher with this. And it comes across here. 
and then it comes right down the back here doesn't it it's, a little, it's quite dark down here I might darken it just there actually blue and a touch of black darken this right down and I'll take a touch of crimson I'll try crimson in this one for a change and I'm going to darken it here and there with some of that. So we have the basic shape of our roof. Alright, we have that put in. Uh, let's come down around the edge like this. Now we'll give that a clean. And I'm going to pick up my small pointy brush. And go along here with some nice bright colour is it coming out lovely? no so I'm just suggesting some texture with the brush so just a little, you know little brush strokes here and there to suggest or to tell the viewer that clumps of snow really kind of weighing down the roof and what I'll do is I'll make a touch of shadow just here and there so for example just along the end of the roof here with a little bit of shadow coming up onto the snow and even in here, it's going to be quite dark, isn't it? So that's going to be very dark in there. How about that? Um, okay, let's just sit back now and have a look at this, see what we think. I think I'll darken it slightly just on one point in there. So I think I'll just darken it just in here very slightly. Okay, that'll do for now. Let's not get bogged down with details. I'll just wanna put a little piece at the end of that. Um a little bit there. Right. I think I let it like that for now. We continue on with the inside part of this. This is going to be fun. Now I, you want to be careful with this now because you don't want with oranges and yellows. We don't want them going green. So I need to be careful. And I'll take a flat brush now for this, this next segment. So I'll give my little flat brush a good clean. I make sure there's no blue on this whatsoever. So let me just give it a good, really good scrub. And I'm going to start now with some dark colours. So I'm thinking cadmium red, little burnt cyanide, and just dampen this very gently, just to break the paint, that's all, just to sort of disperse the paint a little bit. Burnt cyanide, a um, little bit of red, let's just get that in here first. So fill in under the roof. Uh, in fact, let's change to crimson. Crimson with some burnt umber this time. And let's put this in down here. And fill that right in there now. We have a nice light colour in there, don't we? So let's take some cadmium yellow and put that in with that colour and pull some of that in across there, look. Pull that down there. Now don't worry if it's not the colour that you want the first time, okay? This is just kind of, I'm only covering the canvas, blocking it in. 
I'm not worried about getting the colours absolutely perfect the first time. I just want to get this filled in, this kind of section here. Um, some burnt umber for this section, I'm thinking burnt umber with some cadmium red perhaps. Let's try that. And fill that in. I hope this turns up nice. I think it'll turn up lovely. And let's go across here with some. Let's take a touch of black actually with the brown just for this corner here. That's very dark, isn't it? I'll put that in there now. And I want to make that nice and dark and um, just around here and there, around the edges you can see it's like a very dark frame isn't it? Okay, okay that looks good Piece along the bottom and what I'm going to do then, now I'm just checking my camera here, I have very little power left, I have about two minutes worth of power left in my camera. So I'm going to have to go and charge it and come back. So let's just get a couple of darks with some black and some brown in underneath the eave of the roof here. And we have a couple, we have one here. So get that in very loosely. And we have a couple of beams, don't we? Coming down. So I'll scroll along then and I'll do this all the way around. Pop in some darks here and there. I'm going to go and charge my camera, don't go anywhere. 